Tonight, we'll talk about going back to Jamaica in poverty. Welcome back to the channel, my powerful MVP family. This is a girl, Miss Bell, and tonight I'm just here, first of all, to thank all of you for your support. Thank you for coming back to the channel, watching the videos. Welcome to all the new people who have joined us here. And just know that you are absolutely appreciated. Um, my members, thank you so much for the donations that you that you put forth to support every single month. I so totally appreciate it. Um, what can I say? Happy Father's Day to all you awesome men out there and also the women who had to take on the role of of of, of being a father has to play the father figure when sperm donors disappear they walk away from responsibilities walk away from their beautiful children walk away from 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 little human beings who need the, the support tonight i say more power to those of you who stayed the course those of you who, regardless of the disagreements, regardless of the of, 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 of the struggles, didn't run away. You, you make sure that your children were fed, they were cared for, they were sleeping in warm places. You were doing the best that you could do for them. So I just want to say thank you. As a single mother myself, I, I know exactly how it was. With the girls, it's, it's hard, but with the boy... Just somebody to take him to get his hair cut. Somebody to just talk to him about how to treat women, how to how to be a provider. Little things like those. But thank God I did the best I could with what I knew. And um, it's a good feeling when he says, Mommy, don't worry, you have taught us well. So I wish all of you well where you are. And continue to, to do the best. No, there, there's no, um, you know, there are no books that were created to, to help us guide children or to be parents to children. But we know that they're here and we do the best for them. So happy Father's Day, guys. I know it's not as, as, as publicized as, as it is for the mothers. But I think because they know when you guys walk away, mothers have to become mothers and fathers. That mothers do carry a big, 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 big load. A lot of pet mothers today are out there working and they still have to come home and be the nurturer and have to provide the, you know, prepare meals and wash clothes and take care of the house. And there's so much that they carry. They're the burden bearers. They are the ones so again, every day, just tell yourself that every day is father. It's 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 a day to be appreciated. Don't wait for these commercialized days to let the fathers know that you appreciate them. Learn to say thank you to them. It's 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 a good thing. They do like to hear those things. They want to feel appreciated, even you know, regardless. And so the love might be gone. But responsibilities are still there. So kudos to you guys for doing the right thing, you know, and continue to do the right thing for your children so they can grow up with a good, stronger foundation and will be able to give back to society in a positive way. Don't let them grow up and be angry and bitter and then the only recourse is to kill people and to hurt people, you know, take from people, um, without earning it, let them be there for them and teach them the good morals that they need to be productive human beings. So somebody said, are you really going to leave this beautiful America with the opportunities that they have here to go back to Jamaican poverty? And I said, you know, sometimes we have to know things before we say things, some things that we say. First of all, there's nothing, poverty is not a sin. Poverty is not something to be ashamed of. 
if I was lazy all the years I've been here, um, then I could understand somebody saying something like that. But I worked hard. But in working hard, I also knew that I should help those who need help. I know that regardless of how old my children are, that when your children are trying, that you should be there for them. So going back to Jamaica, I have never really, I was never a person who, you know, I'm, I'm hungry for, for wealth, never. I've never said to myself, I want to be rich. Never. It's not something I, I care for. I like a simple life. I like humility. I don't like stuff. I don't like it. I don't like that when we hold on to material things and that's the only thing that 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 um that that that, that that's all that we have. We're not loving, we're not kind, we're not humble, we're not you know, you you're not those things. Patient. All you worry about is what you have accumulated. What do we accumulate? If our kids are doing well, they don't need. I don't need to accumulate anything. What am I accumulating it for? So if they're hard workers and they're doing what they have to do, they don't need to be, you know, as I said, people should teach their children to build their wealth. Teach your children to build their wealth. It's a bad thing when we allow our children to sit and wait for what we have, wait for us to die in order for them to start fighting over stuff, killing one another, hating one another, stop talking to one another because of, because of, you know, teach them to be self-sufficient. So that means Nobody has to fight for what you have. So Jamaica, yeah, there's a lot of poverty there, but there are a lot of people who, yeah, they might not be living in grand homes, but they're filled with humility. They're filled with love. They're filled with pride in who they are. They treat people well, and it's okay. So yes, a lot of things are going on there, you know, housing. You look at the price, the pricing houses for, you know, as if they're in, they're abroad or, oh, 240 US dollars. So they're not building for the people in Jamaica. And the more they do these things, it's the more it becomes harder for those who are there. Because when will they ever afford it? How can they afford it? Even if they're able to pay down on this, well, how will they pay the mortgage each month? So for me, I am okay. And because I'm going home, doesn't mean I'm going home to poverty and degradation. I'm going home to what makes me happy, to what makes me feel comfortable. I just need enough. I don't need extra. I don't need... I don't need to, when I go to sleep, worry about a darn thing. I just need to go home and just be okay. So people are asking these questions, you know, you're going to leave the niceness America. Oh, niceness America will always be here. But niceness America is oppressive. Niceness America can be very, very oppressive. So you come in and you get opportunities and you use them well. And then you say goodbye. I've known so many people went back home and they are so at peace. They are so thankful to be back. In a space they know well. So let's not focus on the negatives, guys. If you want to ask a question, ask me what it is I want to go home and volunteer to do. Ask me about becoming part of the Kiwanis Club or I don't know or, or, or something 
that will give back to the community. Ask me about things like those. Because that's what I want to be able to do. Have a purpose to get up in the mornings and go to a school, read with some kids, help them with what I know. And that will be fulfilling for me. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I don't want any unnecessary thing. I just want to go home and enjoy the people that I have loved. Some of them might become a little harsh and have done, I don't know, and they're going about their business. That's fine. But they're also the other side of people who have worked hard and will not mind taking a moment to stand somewhere and just talk. You know, just talk for a minute or two. Or ten. <laughs> but people, please, don't start reading into these things. God has a plan for each and every one of us. And one of the things that Christ demonstrated to us on earth, he says, it is easier for a camel. You see how huge a camel is? Look at me. As big as I am, I can't go through the eye of an eagle. Right? And a camel is way, 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 way bigger and heavier than I am. And Christ says, it is so much easier for them to go through the eye, that little eye of the needle, than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. We talk about the rich, the person with the riches. When they go to sleep, they have to be worrying about the, the riches, while the poor man goes to bed and just sleep. So they'll be always poor among us. There'll be way more poor people than rich people. And so, it's okay. It's okay. A lot of us, you know, it's like, we see, we don't see riches as a bad thing. But sometimes we need to take a step back and see how, when we have, how it makes us arrogant and makes us, like we think we can afford the, this and that. And, and so, even, you know, some of us gained so much weight, not because we had a surgery, not because of anything, but because we feel like I can afford to buy this and I can afford to buy that. So they just buy. There are some people who every night they're Ubering food. Every night they're buying something on the street. They never cook a meal with love. They have time for that. But because they're working and can afford it, they, 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 they buy the street food they have to buy. And, and then the issues come. So returning to Jamaica doesn't mean going back into poverty. And poverty, again, it all depends on how we look at it. Um, as a poverty, nothing is, there's no shame in being poor. Shame comes in being lazy. Shame comes when you're envious and you're red-eyed on other people's things. Shame comes when you steal other people's things because you want to have more than you can afford. But there's no shame in poverty. There's none. So again, encourage and empower. Lift up, don't push down. Believe in people. And know that so that they can achieve. If you believe that they can achieve or others will achieve, or you yourself will it can achieve, you will achieve. So let's stop look at the negatives and stop making the negatives first and foremost. Look at all the other possibilities. Look at all the other total awesomeness. Look at all the other benefits. Look at all of those. Because all of those outweigh any amount of anything that you take with you wherever you go in life. So let's build. Let's build. And let's continue to build as we continue onward and upwards always. Even if it's heading to Jamaica. <laughs> Let us continue onward and upwards. So now people, let's build, let's continue to build, 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 you know, build. And, and when we build, make it strong. And let us not cast stones behind us. 
Let us never cast stones behind us. A lot of us left Jamaica with our wood. Never come back at a place that me, Master, me never go out there. And you talk the foolishness and the, if, we, if we become flies on the walls and should come where you are, we could see that you're not doing so well here. So let us not throw stones behind us. Let us go with grace. Ask God to guide. And wherever he leads, you say, Lord, I'll follow. You can be could be careful, but take good care of yourselves. Love yourselves. It's not about the wealth that you have. It's not about the possessions you have. It's who you are as a human being. It's who I am as a human being. That's, that is what matters. Don't forget.